Working motherhood. Today, you guys, I'm going to give you a refrigerator organization video. I just got my new refrigerator about mm, a month, a month and a half ago, and this is the first time I need to do some organization with it because it's kind of a hot mess. So I'm just going to show you some things that I got to start this project, and then we're going to get go ahead and get started, you guys. So I just got two large um, freezer bins or freezer refrigerator bins, and I got these from my um, neighborhood, uh, family dollar. Um, I know they have them at like, um, Walmart and they have them at, um, Bed Bath & Beyond, but they're way more expensive. These were only $5 a piece at my family dollar in my neighborhood. And then I got two of these smaller bins. I got a new, um, acrylic egg thingy maboob. And <laughs> also, I'm going to clean my refrigerator with my own mixture. It's just vinegar and water, basically, apple cider vinegar and water. You definitely want to clean your refrigerator with something natural, something that you don't mind being around your food because you're spraying in, into an area where you store your food. So I'll be using this. So let's get started. All right, you guys, this is pretty much what I'm starting off with right now. It wasn't too horrible um, because I have only had this refrigerator for about a month, but I usually will clean my refrigerator, um, do a light clean once a week, and then I'll do a deep clean twice a month. That's what I usually do. Um, I hadn't touched this refrigerator much since I've gotten it because as you guys seen that I've been doing all kind of projects in my home. I've been doing... <laughs> Uh, redoing all of the bedrooms in every single room. If you haven't seen those videos, you can take a look at my description box to kind of see what I've been up to. So yes, you guys, it was time to get in this refrigerator and get it cleaned and organized. <music> you are new to my channel i want to say thank you so much for stopping by i hope you consider hitting that subscribe button and let me know that you stop by in my comment section i love connecting with new people i love sharing ideas and thoughts that is what the wonderfulness of youtube is all about <laughs> such a weirdo I love drying out my refrigerator after I wipe it out with paper towel um, because it just seems like it's so super moist <laughs> so I always dry out my refrigerator with paper towel after I wipe it down <music> Just gonna wash out the new beans that I purchased. I definitely recommend always washing out any new containers that you have purchased from the store that you will be storing your food in. And now I'm just placing my containers in my refrigerator, trying to see kind of how I want it set up and organized. freezer I'm just doing a little light touch up down here I'm just kind of organizing everything a little bit
going to show you guys what I've done so starting off here so I just have my condiments on the side my mommy's personal shelf <laughs> and more condiments here I just cleaned everything out and tried to organize it the best way I could I'm um, here I just got a new acrylic uh, egg holder I keep my juice and milk up here even though they say that you should keep it in the middle they're so big I can adjust my shelves but they're just so big it just makes me feel uncomfortable so I'll leave them there they're fine um here I bought these um, acrylic things and I just have my Gatorades in here um, and the kids yogurts drinkable yogurts um, of course here I have their um, Kool-Aid jammers and they can just pull it out with these handles here I kept this one that I had it's not acrylic so now I gotta find an acrylic one of these but to keep their little fruit um, cups in nice and easy usually it should slide out easy but I have one extra one but this is the way it's supposed to slide out so they can just grab a fruit cup <laughs> but that's the extra one there and I keep my lunch meat on this shelf here I have more, oh, actually this lunch meat should go up here with the rest of the lunch meat. I just noticed that. See why I'm cleaning? I'm noticing. <laughs> so I just got my hot dogs and sausages here. Under here I'm keeping all of my leftovers um, that we're going to get ready to eat tonight, actually. And then, of course, I keep my vegetables in here, carrots, celery, onions, green peppers, whatnot. Here, I keep all the kids' um, fruit, um, apples, and oranges. They like them cold. Um, and then in the, this is like my snack drawer here. And here, I'm just keeping all their go-go squeezes. They love these things. And these are those uh, yogurt squeeze tubes. Um, and I keep them in a the freezer um, until I start to run low and then I put them on in the refrigerator that keeps them longer when I'm bulk sh shopping. And then here is just like yogurts and puddings and jellos. And then here I'm just keeping my bags of cheeses in one of the little containers that I already had. So this is basically how I organize everything. I feel like it has a better function than what it had before um, and then I'm just going to show you my freezer I didn't um, show you guys the organization of it because it was already organized and pretty pretty decent and clean so let me just go through it over here on this side I keep all of our vegetables on this side I keep all of our meats and then in this drawer here I keep all of their snack foods like french fries and chicken nuggets um, and then in the back like they have like their pancakes and in the back here you can see more um oh sorry you can see more box foods and pot pies and whatnot so i try to keep this little shelf here for the kids snacks and whatnot the meats and vegetables so that way everything is nice and organized like that so that is my organization you guys i hope you enjoy spending time with me as I always enjoy spending time with you, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And I can't wait to see you guys soon. Look out for my next video that's coming out. I'm getting ready to do redo my whole hallway. I'm going to paint, redo it completely. I told you guys I'm on a mission to like redo every part of my house. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, you guys.